You are my fire, the one desire you we and I say Welcome to the Alright Podcast. Nice, nice. That's a good intro. Good intro. Um, but we're going to say our normal intro probably. I was trying to think, did I say our name right? <laughs> the Army Podcast, yeah. Um, we're probably deluded, and the reason why we're deluded is because, look at us. We're burnt to a crisp. We're born to a crisp. Um, if you're watching the video version, you can see our faces. Hold on, can you see it? Yeah, you can see our faces. Yeah. Um, but if you're listening to the audio version, we're going to dis- explain it. First, I want to say, um, s- sorry to the Spotify listeners that uh, this went up a day early. Um, this came up on Tuesday the 10th. Oh, sorry, a day late. Yeah. W- say, I'm so deluded, I need water. Um, I, I got water. Not now, but I got water earlier. I, I need to start. No, no, I'm okay. Okay, um, but what happened was is that I got um, sunstroke yes. um, while we were filming on Sunday, and thank God it was when we finished Saturday. Oh my God, I can't even think straight. Okay, so yeah, sorry, but before we go, we didn't do it. To the Spotify listeners, it's a day late, and it's Tuesday at 10 a.m., but for the YouTubers, uh, for the YouTube people that are watching now on video, it's not late for them because it would have already been up. Um, yeah. Do you want to give our intro before we go any further? Sure. Here we go. Hello, buddy. How's it going? And welcome back to the All Right Podcast. But it's not the best podcast, not the worst podcast. It's just the All Right Podcast. Lovely. There you go. A little bit of uh, <clears throat> into it. Yeah. So for the Spotify listeners, I want to say that my face is red. It's red like a lobster. Um, it's it's bad. It's probably not shown on camera as much. Uh, there's actually you compare it like to- my neck. My neck is so bad right now, um, and that's because we went um, out on, in the 23 degrees heat in County Wicklow on Saturday. Mm. I don't even know. It probably went to, I think it went to 25 degrees on Saturday, um, because at one point I was in the car, it was like 24.5, so I was like, right, it's basically 25. There was about, how many would you say there was on set? We can literally count them out. You talk and I'll count, right? Okay. So, there was... Oh, you're... Okay. Grant. Yeah, so we went filming on Saturday and we done our uh, opening scene for our for the new short film uh, for the Dream Factory Productions. We have a film production, if you don't know. we This is our fifth film. Uh, I'm the writer and director for this film. Um, and then we have a, a cast and crew of 40 people. It was 15 people, I think, on Saturday. 15 people. We arrived there at what time? Oh, let me think. I'd say about almost seven o'clock. Start the day back before that. So, first of all, Friday night. Friday. Do you want to talk about Friday and all the disappointments on Friday? Um, Please. I can't remember. I really, I need water. I really can't remember. Right. So, Friday started. I got here. Um, First thing that I remember is... We went for food. We went through the KFC drive through mm. Oh, yeah. Um, you and Casey got snack boxes, and I just ordered chips with the gravy. We got back, and they didn't have my food in the bag. So I was already starving at this point. So I just left and went to the shops and picked up the last couple of bits that we needed to get. And then we had to go to... I feel like there was something before this, but I can't remember. We were going to go rent a van Mm. and we went to the place that we were renting it from and it said nowhere on the email confirmation or on the website that you had to be 30 years old to drive a van. It said you have to be 25 and I'm 25, so that would be perfect. Mm. I had it booked, had it rented, had it paid for, got there to the place and they said, no, you need to be 30. Sorry. To the company that left us stranded, go fuck yourself. Um, I don't say that lightly, I say that very harshly. Um, we literally had everything booked out. We had this, how long in advance did you have that fan booked? Um, probably like four days. Four days in advance. And the email or the terms and conditions didn't say 30, no? No. It said 25 to 27 at least. The 25 to 75, that's the driving age. We went to this place, we had to spend our own money uh, for a taxi from here to Dublin Airport um, and that's where we went. We went into one of the companies up there and we hired it and what happened was is that we went up, we thought we were getting a, a van, a nine-seater van 
and Nicola is a five years experience full licensed driver. You're 25 years of age. Um, and it says that you have to be 30 years of age to drive a nine seater van, which is ridiculous. Mm. Every single one of them, there's about five or six companies, all of them said it. Now, a lot of them are saying, oh, I'm so sorry about that and stuff like that. They were yeah. apologetic, but there was nothing they could do. We then had to spend money again to go home in a taxi. So that was the wrong thing because we were supposed to pick up nine people, nine, eight, eight people. Eight people um in the morning so yourself had to literally drive up yeah so we had to think of like right we can't get the van we people are dependent on us to bring equipment and to drive down to wicklow early in the morning so we had to think of something else we could do Mm. so we um we had to tell people that they couldn't um come to the film set yeah which was hard to do because ideally we would like to have everyone there on set because everyone has a role to do. Mm-hmm. But we had to tell some people that they couldn't go. We had to ask um, some people who were driving to kindly bring the crew, which they did. And we're really um, appreciative really of that. Yeah. But then we had to, so that meant um, Friday evening, we had the car jam packed full of stuff and equipment. We had to drive down to Wicklow Friday night, drop all that stuff off. And you had to stay there Friday night because I needed the extra seat in yeah. the car. Yeah. So you stayed there Friday night. It was midnight when I got back to Dublin. And um, I literally stayed in bed, got, like, got ready for bed and went to bed. Um, then I woke up at four o'clock in the morning. So, so four we had f- I had four hours of sleep. You were pretty much the same because you couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep because of what was happening. I, I, I couldn't sleep because of what was happening. Um, and usually these podcasts are uplifting and bright, but do you know what? We, we always go, what are we going to talk about today yeah. or so? But and we, we have a lot to talk about. Because it's literally been two days ago and we're already forgetting what happened. So yeah. we can look back on this and it's like, oh, do you remember how hard it was to film yeah. this scene? But um, So yeah, we got up. I got up before... Um, got ready and went to go collect uh, some of the crew got them along the way and we were in Wicklow so the first drop off in Wicklow I think was about quarter to seven mm. uh, so dropped the crew off and then came up to Sarah's to get the first load of equipment mm. um, so and me and I went with you you went with me yeah so we packed up the car and went and we were in Wicklow for about just after seven mm. with the first drop off then I went back got Sarah and James and the rest of the stuff yeah. and then we were all there for about half seven um, which was great like the park was so quiet the town was so quiet like we literally got set up we had time to spare because we were only shooting the opening scene um, so we knew it wouldn't take we had plans till about five or six in the evening but we knew it wouldn't take that long mm. so we got yeah, it was fun from there on. We started getting ready, getting the cast ready, all the equipment packed up, and then, do you want to talk about filming? Yeah, so basically what happened was is that it actually went really well on the day, um, and we finished about 25 minutes early ahead of schedule. We, no, we did. We were supposed to finish at five. We finished at uh, four or five. Four. Yeah, so, so it was about an hour. An hour ahead of schedule, um, so which was really good for us because we, we started an hour later. As well. Yeah, exactly, an hour later as well. So it was it, it turned out really well for us. Um, the acting from the actors was amazing. Uh, the crew was amazing on the day as well. They always are. This is our second time now, like our second day, and then straight after you had to help people go, jump, bring them back, and you know. Um, you had to bring equipment back as well and then you had to go from Dublin back up to Wicklow as well with Sarah. Yeah, so do you want to say what happened before that though to you? What do you mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. To me, yeah, so what happened was is that... We had finished filming. Yeah, sorry, you're going to see me keep coming up now and fixing this uh, the light. Um, yeah, so what happened was is that finished filming, everybody's done. Next of all, I'm sitting down and out of nowhere, I keep getting told, man, you you look like a tomato. Your face, like it's you look raw and red, and I goes, like okay, no bother, Grant, and I go out of nowhere. It just went, boom. I go, boom. and I was like, whoa, what the fuck? And I was like, guys, I don't feel good. And they were like, you don't look good. And I goes, what the fuck? And then one of the crew members looked up, and said, I think you have sunstroke. And I was like, fuck. So I start then, I'm a very anxious person, person, so I start kind of overthinking a lot. 
and that made it worse. I think that's what I think that's what it was. It made it worse. I start like I'm not messing. I was sitting on the bench, hovered over. Yeah, I could feel myself, my breathing going weird, and, all, and I'm literally there going. Everybody's talking. Some people are saying, "Oh, you'd be grand." Other people are like, "Oh, I don't know, I don't know." And that's not that. Like, if someone has anxiety, like, and someone gets a, is a really anxious person, person, and um, yeah, and they just overthink a lot. You don't focus on the positives. You focus on the negatives. You you drop more towards the negative. Even that, like for any person that's in pain or anything, you shouldn't tell them, "Oh, this is the worst thing that's going to happen to you. You're going to no. have to go to hospital or whatever." Like you need to reassure that person, even if they have anxiety or not, because yeah. you know it's it's not nice for anyone to hear that. Yeah, yeah, I I agree with that. Um, but it was it was mad. It was crazy. I've never had sunstroke before in my life. Um, and I remember sitting there, closing my eyes, focusing on me breathing. Because it goes, right, if I calm down and relax, I'll be all right. Oh, my legs went like jelly. I had to sit down on the bench. I almost passed out. I was saw I saw black coming over me. I was like, fuck, what the fuck? And um, I sat down. That lasted about, Jesus, about an hour and a half. Mm. By the time I got back to, to Sarah's, yeah. um, I felt a little bit better when I literally lashed back water into me. We were working so hard all day. In the sun and in the heat. And in the sun and the heat. No shade. Yeah. We were working so hard. Everybody was just... Keep, everybody just kept on going. Um, and it was just... I don't know. We were just so in the zone. No one putting sun cream. So it is our fault. Well, like, some of the crew had sun cream on, but the cast couldn't wear sun cream because it would affect the makeup and how they look on camera. It's dangerous, though. So it, it is dangerous. And we had water there, but people just didn't, like, drink enough. Mm. Um... Yeah, because we were in... I mean, it was me and Sarah that went back and we unpacked the first load of stuff. And I think it, James rang us and was like, um, you don't feel so good. And I was like, okay, he's probably just like dehydrated or something. Mm. So we said, yeah, just get water and just sit down and rest. rest. When I seen you then, when I came back, you were literally shaking. Like, I, you were oh, shivering. I didn't think you were that bad. No, I thought you were just like that. overreacting and being like, yeah. oh, I feel I'm hungry. Because you're like, oh, I'm hungry or I'm thirsty, yeah. whatever. I was sitting on the bench in 25 degrees heat and I felt like I was in a cooler. I asked James, my whole body was like, I was, sh my whole teeth was like shattering. Mm. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong with me? And James was like, that's the heat trying to go back into your body. Yeah. And I goes, okay, they put ice on my neck. Um, and put water bottle on my neck as well and he went off and got me water bottles and then I stood up um, and I tried to you know better and I was starting to feel better and I think it's when I got to Sarah's I felt better mm. I'd never want to feel like that again yeah. ever I had put on a lot of after sun as well and, and the likes of that but yeah it's a story to tell <laughs> it really is and James calls me a little bitch now um, and he said he literally looked at me and goes buddy right now I'm taking this seriously but do you know when you're better in like 24 hours, I'm going to rip into you. And I goes, <laughs> I wouldn't want nothing else yeah. but you to do that. That's what friends do. We rip into each other. Um, yeah. But also, um, another thing that happened to us, um, and it's 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 a bummer, but I always, I was taught this and I was told this and I, I'm go, I go by this. Um, the safety of your cast and crew is more important than any film. Anything you make, you can always stall your film. But if there's something wrong with your cast and crew, um, you need to stop, especially if it's serious. Yeah, so do you want to, like, give a background to then the lead-up of that? What was that? So, yeah, we had finished filming the Saturday evening, around half four or whatever. Had packed up, come back, and for the second load, then I brought you back, um, dropped you off, and Sarah and James looked after you. Then I went with the rest of the crew that we had left and dropped them back. Mm -hmm. And then I got back down to Dublin, or to Wicklow. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it was about nine o'clock by the time I got back to Sarah's with pizza and oh, yes. with um, like after sun and sun cream and everything. We ate that then. And I... You had to stay there again that night because I needed space in the car. Yeah. So I left Sarah's probably around 
about half 10, yeah, 11-ish, because yeah. I came back here and it was around half 11. It was kind of the same again. I was asleep at midnight, up again at four. Yeah. So that was two days of just having four hours sleep mm. and a lot of driving. Yeah. And then, um, so collected the crew in the morning from like quarter the to same, five, yeah. same times, same six, time. back down in Wicklow. I was in Wicklow at like quarter to seven, went to get you and Sarah and James at around seven. And then you got a call then, and that's when I fi- found out. Yeah, so on Sunday morning, as I said, health and safety comes first of the cast and crew. Um, because of the day before, um, and you wouldn't notice, because one of the main actors um, for our film, The Hitmen, he um, woke up the next day, and he was, f- he was feeling a bit shit the day before, um, but he, wa- he, knew, he thought it would pass. Mm. And... Um, what happened was is that he he got sunstroke as well, but he got it about ten times worse than me. He was vomiting, he was getting sick, he was dizzy, he felt like he was gonna faint, he couldn't eat. And every single scene that day was them two. Yeah. It was the two hitmen. And then it was like the assignment and, and stuff like that as well. And uh, there were four people all together that we have to shoot that day. Um, there were five scenes we had to shoot that day as well. Mm. And that's like a lot of the film. Yeah, it's the majority of the film. We got we got to borrow a Morris Minor 1965 blue car. Mm. Um, and we're still allowed to borrow it as well. Uh, Sarah's granda. Mm. So thanks for that. <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're watching. If you're watching. Um, but thanks very much. Um, I don't want to mention his name. Just in case he's like, don't be mentioning my name out there. Um, but yeah, um, we're allowed that again. So thank God. Because that car will suit them. Mm. And it'll suit the scene altogether. Um, and we had to stop production. Now, um, was it a bummer? Yes. Was I a little bit happy? Yes, if I'm being honest, because I was still really bad from sunstroke, but I was like, fuck it, I'll go on, because mine was almost over. Yeah. I just felt real yeah. tired, and I had a yeah. kind of a headache, but not that much. But Do you know what I mean? Mm. I'm going to beep that. I said the name, but I'm going to beep it. What was that? 70 minutes. Okay, I'm going to beep that name. Um, but the main, the, the main, one of the main hitmen, um, they, they felt shit. And it's it is their safety. And when he was on set that day, he was very funny, very positive. Um, he brought a great like attitude and kind of joy to the the cast and the crew because we were all just kind of like, okay, what's next? What are we doing now? We're all just constantly working. We didn't really stop for a proper lunch mm. because the way the scenes, like the the action, lined up. We couldn't really break in the middle of it because we needed the characters mm. in the positions that they were in mm. and with the makeup that they had. So we were kind of just taking like a five minute break here and there. Mm. And that was it. Yeah. Even when we were taking a break, we weren't really because no. we had to think about something else or do something else or we had to go get something. So it wasn't a break per se, but you know yourself. But yeah, you know, he was a great, he's great on the day and um, we put, we made the right choice as well mm. by picking him. Um, very positive, uh, vibe on set also and that's what you want. Uh, but yeah, um, so that's what happened. We have photos as well if you want to go on to our Instagram. Um, the Dream, the Dream Factory Productions on Instagram. Um you can see all the photos and behind the scenes. We can't share many because it will spoil the film. Uh, we got a lot of shots, um, a lot of good special effects as well. Mm. Very good. Um, yeah, and we went to see, because of Sunday, we went out, me, you, Sarah and James went out and seen A Quiet Place too. Yeah. So we had, like, once everything was kind of sorted and we cleared up everything with everyone, we had a day, a free day then to ourselves. So we went to see that. It was a good film. Uh, we seen number one, very good. And number two, I have to say, even better. Yeah, I would say, like, the action in it, I'm not going to give anything away, but, like, you're literally holding your breath for the whole movie because there's no real relaxation mm. part in the movie. They're constantly going. Mm. It's just, it's really entertaining. And from the first, like, two, three minutes, you're just, like, what's the word? It just captures you. Yeah. Like, because... Yeah, I don't want to give away, so I'm not going to say anything, so there's no spoilers or anything, but um, just, if, you, if you're if you going to the cinema to see something, if you haven't seen A Quiet Place 2, I'm pretty sure you can watch it on Netflix, but... 
Oh, sorry. Yeah, if you haven't seen a quiet place one, I'm I'm really tired right now and I'm dizzy. Mm. I can feel myself being like, look at me. I'm real tired. Usually on the Your podcast, eyes are closed. yeah. Usually on the podcast, I'm like, hey, how's it going? But um, yeah, no. This podcast this week is going to be all chill and mellow. So mm-hmm. if you smoke weed, just sit back and relax. And if you don't, that's okay too. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. So it was really good. Um, I had really much it was fun. So nice to be back in the cinema. Like watching a movie on the telly, it's fine. But when you're in the cinema and you have like the dark room the big speakers the big screen it's so much more like sensual like it gets all your senses mm. in gear kind of and uh, yeah i think i think that's right i i'd rather go to cinema than sit at home um i had to go to dun Laoghaire and i was on a studio um and i had to debate why staying at home was better than going to the cinema and I didn't want to do that. Because you feel the opposite. I just saw you yawning. <laughs> um, but I feel the opposite. I love going to the cinema. Um, I go to the cinema on my own sometimes. Yeah. Like a lot. And I get, I buy a sandwich. Mm. I buy a drink at a bar. Mm. And I don't care if people look at me. I am in my element in my own little seat. And I think the cinemas now, when they open back up, it's like five, six euro a ticket. View is opening back up on Friday. Yes, so it's opening back up Friday the 18th. And... I'm going. I'm going in the morning, even if I have to. Um, now, me, you, Sarah and James wanted to watch The Conjuring. Yes, we should go see The Conjuring. Um, we won't have any time this weekend, though, because we're busy Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, so I wonder. Like, I'm so sorry, guys. You are probably bored right now going, oh, my God. <laughs> they're, they're so dead. Their mood is so down. Energy. But we really don't have any energy. I'm resting until Friday. The shoot that we have this Saturday coming, the 19th. Um, we have two more weeks of shooting, and then we're going to take a break until the probably the it's probably about the probably the middle of July because we, we have to, um, and then that'll be our final shoot. But this the shoot that we have this week is going to be so fucking fun. It's gonna be the funniest scene to record, I think, because of what's because in of it. what ha- what happens. Yeah, because of what happens. Um, with this film that we're doing now, um. Literally, we've been planning this since last March, March 2020 we started. We're recording all the behind the scenes as well for you, for when people want to watch it. I cannot wait. Like, I would love to do the behind the scenes or the bloopers videos because I would just find it so funny mm. to look at. Like, thinking back to Saturday just gone, there wasn't that many bloopers, like, on film, mm. if you want to say. Mm. Um, I know we had one blooper on the previous Saturday, mm. but there was none really that I can think of. See, the the first one we ever done, um, the first scenes we done, it was a serious scenes. Yeah. So there's no bloopers, there's no funniness. One part where one person messed up their line and everyone kind of laughed. Yeah, that was that it. That was it, yeah. But, and then this scenes that we done today, the opening scene, it's not really a funny scene. It, it kind of is in a way, it's, it depends on your humour, if it's dark comedy, but... Um, well, I mean, like, to like, because you see, like, we just watched a movie there, um... The Nutty Professor. You you haven't seen The Nutty oh. Professor before. Well, I fell asleep halfway through it, but I kind of get the story. Mm. But when they're doing the credits at the end, they have all the bloopers in that. And but that's a comedy film with Eddie Murphy. Yeah, but it, it just makes it more humane for someone to watch. It's like, okay, you've watched the film. Now you can see all the fuck-ups they've done yeah. in the making of the movie. Yeah. And then they have the actual... It's credit. brilliant, though. Like, I would love to do that for the Hitmen if we had enough footage. Well, I think this shoe coming and... Um, next week's shoot is going to be very, very, very funny. Yeah, and also, like, with that, instead of just having, like, bloopers, like, where people mess up their lines or something funny happens, we use a little bit of, like, say, the crew, uh, like, what not what they're doing, but, like, if something funny happens with the crew or during the setup or something goes wrong, like, something just to kind of give it more of entertainment for people. Yeah, um... We have a cinematographer. He's very, very good, very well. Um, I really like working with him. He's easy to work with as well. So, um, and he's making the film look beautiful. Yeah. Um, so I'm really grateful for that as well. We had trouble with a cinematographer, and we re- we respect that cinematographer's choice. Not don't want to do anymore. Um, but it was just we were left with 
you know with no cinematographer and that's the person that makes your film they create the whole atmosphere and the look for it as well yeah. um, um when i came to the final stage i was like right if you don't get anybody i'm gonna have to do it i wasn't confident enough to do it i still have to do my own stuff to try to build up my confidence for it but um no, he's doing a very good job. Yeah, like, i only seen a couple of clips of what we've recorded so far. And from standing at the location that we filmed in and looking at it on screen, it looks completely different. It mm. doesn't look like that was where I was standing on the day. Yeah. It looks like you were in a completely different place. Yeah, and I think with films, like, we started the Dream Factory Productions in 2019. Um, well, I started years ago. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I had the name, the Dream Faction Productions, for years, and I'd done comedy sketches and I'd done little videos and stuff and all, but um, we, we, I got, when we got... Seriously. F- yeah. Serious was 2019 with the low ticket, and this is going to be our fifth film now, and then we have um, about three more short films, and then I'm going to make my first feature film as well, mm. uh, Wasters. Um, so I'm very excited about it, and I, I, this is what I want to do. Um, I lo- I'd love to do a podcast and we're getting my own studio and getting guests and so, but we have to build this up. But with the Dream Factory, I'm st- like people are starting to know who we are, kind of yeah. in this small community. Yeah, and even over the last, I would say like four months, mm. because we've reached out to so many like newspaper companies and radio stations and like county councils and stuff like that, people do recognise our name now. Mm. We are getting a lot more. Um, recognition. Uh, recognition but that's in the small community it is in the small community but like over time hopefully that will spread yeah. to the wider community and widespread yeah. widespread yeah and people are asking us back for more yeah. interviews and more knowledge and our thoughts and mm. stuff like that so. we have we have a we're doing an interview for widespread our latest film that came out um on wednesday we're doing we're that yeah. yeah what time is that at need to check yeah because yeah i have the other thing as well on wednesday as well so yeah oh yeah 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 yeah. so that's okay um yeah guys so we're always looking for actors we're always looking for crew members as well if you're interested in any of that please get in contact with us also um i keep hating the sun and i'm gonna go up to this all the time and just do this because um i need to change it for the spotify listeners i'm literally i keep going up to the camera and changing um the way the lighting is and the camera also um yeah so literally after this podcast i'm gonna go upstairs i'm going to drink a bottle of water water. i'm gonna edit this in a while um and then i'm falling asleep and i'm not doing anything until about wednesday or thursday i'm gonna take tomorrow off as well and and so like that also so yeah um this podcast uh, it was a lovely podcast uh, it was a very chill podcast. Yes, it was the chill podcast. The the chill podcast, yeah. Mm. No, the RA podcast. Um, cuz I that's why I named this the RA podcast cuz I knew that sometimes it's got it's literally going to be so good. It'll be the best one mm. I've ever done. And sometimes it's 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 probably the worst one I've ever done. Uh but it's not worse. Uh it's just RA. So I've done podcasts where it was the best i've done some where it was like oh my god they were so bad i wish i never uploaded them and this is the all right one so this is the title we're just all right um yeah so guys we're gonna leave it there for this week um i'm i hope you've enjoyed this one even though it was a little bit chill um this is our little setup for now we will be going back to the car eventually i think people like the car uh, look also um yeah and guys i'm just gonna go drink water now and edit this have this uploaded for everybody to go watch and then i'm gonna fall asleep or, or watch a film and fall asleep and um, we'll keep you updated yeah stay tuned to our instagram the dream factory productions we um post on our stories every weekend when we're filming and you'll see the pictures then from behind the scenes yes so guys remember it's not the best podcast it's not the worst podcast it's just the all right podcast i want it that way tell me why this is the all right podcast tell me why i don't know what else to say tell me why why do you hold the microphone so close to my mouth? Because <laughs> I want it that way. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you again next week. Bye. Bye. Oh, thanks for listening as well. <laughs> Bye. Cool.